This shit's gonna be hard as fuck to make, but we gonna make it. So, a lot of people, especially on TikTok and YouTube, have been, like, freaking wondering, like, like about some of my, my GTA stuff. Like, what guns I use, shit like that. Keck styles, how do I play, uh, like, little, little stuff like that. So, I'm gonna basically break down everything in this video, if that makes sense. I was trying to make a video similar to this before, but freaking, I don't know. I was trying to make like a spawn video with my friend freaking Marco, but that shit was going completely downhill. So we just scrapped it the whole entire idea. So I'm gonna go over a lot of stuff. This is gonna be a long video. I might leave a lot of stuff out because I'm gonna forget a lot of stuff in this video. I'm gonna show loadouts, what to use on certain guns, the guns I specifically use. And then I'm gonna go down to like the actual beach stuff. And then I'm gonna go down like through like some like beach things I do and like little like like tactics and shit that I do when I play beach. Alright, so first off, I'm gonna go to my loadout first. I'm gonna go to my loadout first. So for loadout, I bear only use like a couple guns. They better get I think it's best if I go outside and show. I'm gonna go, yeah. I'm gonna go outside and show because I think it's best. Cause if you see the weapon well, I think it's better. So this for like beach aw specifically. Basically, these are like preferably the only guns that you could use, or at least that you should use. You got the combat MG Mark II, the heavy sniper, pump shotgun Mark II, grenade launcher, RPG, and the homing, and a sticky bomb. And for like the loadouts and like the stuff that I have on the guns, I really don't have a lot of stuff on them. Like for example, the shotgun, the MG and stuff. The shotgun, I don't have any attachments on it. I might be, what is it? If I was going to put an attachment on it, the least I'll put on it is like the holographic sight or like the muzzle. But then like once the more I started playing and the more I realized that neither of them really mattered besides maybe the muzzle, I just took it all off. I just took everything off. The heavy sniper, same, just nothing on it besides the advanced scope. Combat MG, I like to switch in between. Cause neither, like neither or is better than the other. So for like my style, I've been using just the Mark II just because like the pink style and like the pink goes all over the gun instead of it being like pink and white. And the only thing I have on the Mark II LMG is just a grip, that's all. Same thing as like the shotgun. You can pull a holographic on it if you want to, but I really don't prefer it. Like, like if, you, if you think it helps, then sure, fuck it, go ahead. But for my sake in my case, I really don't put it on. Oh yeah, also the heavy bro. I completely forgot about this. I've, I completely forgot about the heavy barrel. You could put it on if you want to, but this once again, it's up to you. I'm going to be saying that a lot. It's up to you if you want to. Also, with my outfits, I really don't care about outfits. And I ain't going to hold you. I really don't. I'm not an outfit person. So that's why like my outfits look the same and bland as like all the others. All my outfits look bland. Like, dead for real. All of my outfits look just like bland and simple. A kindergartner can make these outfits. I just don't really like care for them. I really don't. And like if I can go like more in detail with the loadout, this is basically what I did. So for the way I play just for my sake, I don't have any melees. I don't have any pistols. I don't have any rifles. I only have just one LMG and that's the MG Mark II. Only one shotgun. The pump shotgun Mark II. Only one sniper. And then for heavy weapons, I only for like beach, the best to use is just the grenade launcher, RPG, and the homie. Those are just the three main key guns that you gotta use. Not, not even just for beach, for like basically everything. Mostly everything. And sticky bomb that's always just in case whenever you miss something about the die yada 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 throw a sticky bomb down kaboom you're good you're out of there you're good okay so now i'm gonna go over i'm gonna quickly like show my settings and stuff so for like normal like cause i've been what is it I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down i'm gonna break it down i've been playing beach since 2021 you could consider me a new gen not even gonna hold I, I, I don't mind being called a new gen. You can say whatever. Really don't matter. But I've been through a lot of like setting phases. I started off using slow sense. I attempted to use max sense. Couldn't get used to max sense. Went back to slow sense. It's like a roller coaster. But now for like the past year now, I've been using max sense. But this is like my this is like my sense specifically. It's basically max. Everything's max except for the sniping sense. For the sniping sensitivity, it's just a third person aiming sense. That's all it is. Just lower it down. 
Cause I snipe with slow sense. Niggas be asking how I hit so many snipes. This is why. This is how. But yeah, this is basically what it is. And for some people asking, like, how do you move and strafe whenever you're sniping? Or how are you able to, like, zoom in and strafe at the same time? It's just this. Enable allow movement when zoom. That's all it is. And yeah, I've been, I've been using standard FPS 2 for the past... What is it? I've been using FPS 2 for the past couple months. Because what is it? Ever since people knew me, I've been using standard FPS 1 straight up like i've been using standard fps1 for like ever since i've been playing freaking i went from standard fps1 to standard no i went from alternate fps2 to standard fps1 and i was using standard fps1 for like two years and then like mid 2023 my friend kyle retta y'all probably know him remember him made a video with him and everything freaking goaded ass dude i mean goaded ass dude he basically pushed me literally pushed me into using fucking standard fps2 i took the advice and forced myself to learn fps2 and now i fully like technically i fully mastered fps2 by now but now i'm gonna go into the different kek styles i use because i only right now i only use one kek style and that's basically this one two three oh shit Sticky, grenade. That's like my Kek style right there. That's like the Kek style I use right now. Cause I learned this Kek style once I started playing freaking FPS2. Like I'll say like a month after I mastered FPS2, I, I finally like got this Kek style. So I'm gonna quickly show two Kek styles. One that kind of works. It doesn't work as much as you want it to. And then one that I used to abuse the fuck out of on old gen that used to work damn near all the time. I'm gonna show the old gen one first because I know people are gonna like be using this more often. So for my Kek style on old gen, what I did was I shoot four grenades, sticky bomb, grenade, and then I shoot right at the edge of my screen. It, it doesn't sound like it works, but I, tr I trust and believe. Since, since we're on new gen, instead of shooting 4, you might have to shoot 5. Only issue with this Kek style is almost every single Kek you get is going to be late. It's going to be a one pump. I'm sorry to tell you, but almost every single Kek that you're going to get with this Kek style is going to be late or one pump. I'm going to say, say you want to spawn them right here. I'm going to put like, yeah, 2. Say you want to spawn them right there. In order to force them to spawn right there, you got to basically spam... I'll say five nades, four, five, sticky, grenade, and then, yeah, that was a terrible example, but basically just shoot at the edge of the screen. I used this Kek style in like 2022. I used this throughout almost like half of 2022. And then once I got to new gen, or once like, once like before I switched to new gen, I stopped doing it because it was, I, I didn't really like it as much. But freaking, the reason why I adapted to this is because I put two and two together. Whenever you're like AFK or something, and like your friend Ewos or kills themselves, most of the time they spawn on like the edge of your screen or where you're not looking. Just like how any normal kek was. Only difference is they spawn on like the dead edge. Like sticky bomb right here. I put the sticky bomb perfectly right there and they'll just randomly spawn right there. And then surprisingly, I was getting like a shit ton of kecks out of it. So I said fuck it and I kept doing it. The other kek style I was freaking trying to like show or explain, I really don't want to show it because it's kind of terrible and it kind of works. It only works whenever you want it to work or whenever you force it like directly. But I'm going to show it just for the like the shits and giggles of it. One, four nades, sticky bomb, grenade, and then you just slowly look at the spawn. It's kind of like freaking what, what is it? It's kind of like that one kek style when like you wait for them to spawn in. You throw the sticky bomb and you just wait for them to spawn in. It's kind of like that. Only difference is you basically precisely make sure that they spawn right there by slowly just looking at it. Cause at the last second of you looking at it, they'll end up spawning right there for some reason. But if you want to give it a try and try and main it, then you can go ahead and do that. It's just me personally, I've been using this Kek style for the past like six, seven months. And I've been sticking to it and I've been like doing incredible with it. So if you want to switch up what you got going on and want to use this Kek style, then you can go ahead. Now I'm gonna I'm probably go over 
I'm gonna go over my favorite things to do during like competitive 1v1s. And it's not really a lot, cause most of this stuff is obvious, but except for like two. People might say that it's probably dirty, but freaking, if it helps, it helps. Now the basic thing that people be doing during 1v1s, especially competitive 1v1s, is when they spawn in, they throw a sticky bomb in the water. Only issue is you gotta, you gotta freaking, whenever you do this, I don't really do this. I only do this whenever I feel like I need to do this. I don't really do this. But when you do, the best place to throw it in the water is like right here along like the ocean front. Only issue is, is when it's right here, people could probably see the thing poking through the water. They could probably see the sticky poking through the water. You can throw it out far into the water. It's just whenever you throw stickies in the water, you got to make sure that like you don't throw it too far in. Or whenever you throw it in the water, make sure you don't throw it too far out because they can easily just shoot at it and then boom you're dead or whenever you throw it in the water you could probably throw it yeah you probably end up throwing it too far blow it up oh you boom you're dead from a snipe a lot of shit could happen that's why i just don't prefer to do it now the second tactic that i personally i don't do this as much i show people the tactic and i've been putting them onto it most of the tactics that i show i really don't do not even gonna hold you now this second tactic is when like you whenever you're in like a spot like this this is probably to some people this is considered dirty i understand i apologize but for the people that need to do this whenever you're like sniping someone and they're like on the other side of this right here same way as how you go to the water go to the beach front and you throw a sticky bomb in the water what i do is i run up here and i throw a sticky bomb on the sign right here so whenever i'm right here and i'm like sniping through the thing and i get sniped i could just blow myself up now third tactic it, this only works in two spots well it's you know, I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna split it into two different tactics. Most of these aren't even like most of these are just peaks. The rest of these aren't even tactics. They're just peaks. That's all they are. Right here, tactic right here, number three. Whenever you spawn in this area, if you spawn boardwalk or spawn anywhere in this area, what I usually do is this. This is gonna be so weird, and I know some people probably already do this, but this is what I do. I just basically hold and hug this peak right here. That's all I usually do pop a sticky bomb right here because it's like impossible for them to shoot at it i just pop a sticky bomb right there and i just get to just picking off that's all i usually do this is a disgusting head glitch by the way like during 1v1s whenever you're doing this this is a this is a nasty head glitch not even gonna hold you but yeah this is like a disgusting peek that you can try and do you can keep peeking the area as much as you want to only just remember that you gotta like stay by the sticky just like any of the spots that i showed now i got one more peek slash tactic that i want to show basically you can do any of these at like any part of the beach but this last tactic i think it works best at the other tower so I'm gonna, let me go ahead and go to the like the large tower let me go ahead and go over there for y'all so for right here whenever you get stuck in this area right here first off if they got you trapped in this spawn right here it's basically ggs not even gonna hold like you can't do nothing but you will that's all you can do but if they spawn you here and they miss completely everything the best you could try to do is this you could try and run up over here and throw a sticky over here and then just hold this the whole entire time hold this angle the whole entire time because just like the just like the little mini pond angle i showed y'all if you get shot at or hit at you can just blow up the sticky bomb because if you're in that area they're gonna most likely be in this area either in front of here or behind the lifeguard thing so no matter what they're not gonna be able to see your sticky bomb like they might not even know you threw a sticky bomb there so you're good regardless if they're not right there and they end up being somewhere like far down there or better yet better yet maybe at palm maybe you could try this you could throw a sticky bomb on the ladder right here and do exactly what you usually do on the other like wall back there just sit there and hold and hug so one tactic that i have recently started doing that i have actually been abusing the hell out of i call it ceo abusing like everyone does this i just give it i just gave it a name but yeah right here whenever you're like for example whenever you're stuck at boardwalk stuck at the pierce like bottom pier spawn or my favorite excuse whenever your opponent is on a head glitch and you can hardly shoot them or see them just ask for a ceo that's all and you can do that by going into a ceo and then immediately leaving because once you immediately leave they'll think you want a ceo invite 
but this works in any part of the beach and i mean any part you could do this wherever it's not really a helpful tactic but it's only helpful just to get you out of a quick situation say if your if your opponent is at main spawn yeah say like the person you're fighting is at main spawn and you're all the way over here and you're doing the one tactic that i showed you sticky bomb right here and you're just fighting you're just sniping them and they can't see you and they're standing straight up right there on main and they can barely see you because you're on this head glitch they'll be inviting you to a ceo it is annoying i'm not even gonna lie to you you could be so close to killing them and you they ask for a ceo it does piss your opponent off but it helps it gets you out of that situation you could be right here at this tower they could be a palm tree this is this is my favorite spot to use i only use it for two main areas whenever your opponent is at palm tree or whenever your opponent's holding a head glitch at main spawn whenever they're doing either of those i just ask for a ceo or i invite them to my ceo now i could go over some more little things like display settings my display settings i play on performance because i got a, I got a series s i don't have an x i don't have the money for an x so i've been using just performance reticle size make it as small as possible i play on max brightness safe zone i have the smallest safe zone possible no idea why just that's how i be playing and yes to the people saying ill right now yes yes i already hear y'all i play with motion blur straight up and for one thing this is to all of my snipers out there please for the love of god turn in game death of field effects off i don't understand how y'all snipe with in-game death of field effects some extra camera stuff obviously you should be playing a max field of view and this is this is like personal preference i play with first person ragdoll off now i know i didn't really explain a lot in this video but this is only a part one because i don't re I, right now i can't remember all the things that i do and i can't think of all the things that i do because i don't really do much and what this is only just a 2024 guide and i ain't gonna old because now there's a lot of people that still play beach it's just there's now a lot of new people that still play beach so this is just for those people that's all this is so for like i said earlier if there's anything that i missed out on or forgot about or that like i forgot to mention in this video just put it in the comment section and i'll go over it in the next video and for people asking why i'm making this video out of all people on xbox oh yeah i'm not trying to sound like i have like a high ego or something but um what is it if i could be brutally honest i'm gonna say out of all beach players on xbox i'm like top 30 not even gonna hold it. i'm gonna say like i'm like number 28 probably that's like my opinion i think i'm like number 28 on like the xbox beach leaderboard and i ain't gonna hold so if you like this video and you want to see like another part two of this video just like comment subscribe if you want to and i guess i'll catch y'all later